And now we go to the right hand. So we're going to do the exact same thing. Rotate. Rotate. Good. Six more. One. Two. Three. Four. Good. Five. And six. And see what's happening is he's also mastering his punch logistics. Meaning bringing them in, pop, 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 pop. And you have to get repetitions with this over and over and over again. If not, you'll throw flailing punches, slapping punches. And now, with the repetition that we put in, we do six to seven rounds of this just to get that basic punch logistics set going. The next one, we're going to throw the hook. Place your base right here. All the weight is from the waist down. So cover your hands, bring them up to here, and throw it. Rotate. Boom. Boom. And turn the hand over so you're hitting the big knuckles. Pop. 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 Just like that. Key is making sure that you keep the feet and the hands connected at all times. That's how you generate power from the ground into the punch. Pop. Pop. And that's what we're going to demonstrate inside of the mitts now. Ready? Let's rock. Slow-mo, pop, and boom. Good. Good. And when you're holding the mid, you want to make sure you gauge it. You pin it, boom. Boom. And slowly ride it over the top of the glove, making sure you're not putting immense pressure on the heel of the palm. Because if you do, what you'll do is you'll start to develop pains in the wrist, tendonitis, that's important. Not Time to box. Peace.